Welcome to Film Study, an all-American podcast with Lexi. I'm Lexi. And yeah, y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, because some of y'all don't be subscribing, and I, and I need you to subscribe, turn on that notification button, all of those things. Uh, but here's my review with Haley99 for 413. Jump on it, and I really hope that you enjoy it. All right. Let's get into it. I have Haley and Nai Nai on the pod again. We love them. We love them. We're talking about episode, it's episode 13, uh, Jump On It. And yeah, what were your what were your thoughts, Haley? You can go first. It reminded me that AA can be good without a Bolivia-centered episode. Oh, that's, that's cool. I feel that. I, I get that. I love that. What about you, Nai Nai? I don't really know what happened, to be honest. Um, <laughs> it's like all a blur. Yeah, but I know that Spencer played in the game, which I think mm. he wasn't going to do before. I think. Mm. He did a good job. With it. Got he, it. What did he do? He dropped his ankle. His ankle yeah, he fumbled. he fumbled. He fumbled. But you're right. So it was a bit of a run. Uh, I'm actually going to go like in between those two answers and say like I, it was a good episode. I love my girl Carrie who were, wrote the episode. But um, yeah, it was like oddly a, a lot of drama happened. So strangely, it seems slower to me. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems slower, but still, still enjoyable. <laughs> But with that being said, the different storylines, uh, let's talk about Asher first. Asher and Jamie, they had a nice little moment in the bed together. It seems like she's been coming over a lot to the beach house. Um, and what did she say? She said she had to go and check on her plants or something like that, right? You know what? Whenever Asher is on screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hilly's like, right. You're like, like, it's all a blur. It's all a blur. But I, I do remember them being like, oh, she's like i've been here for a week right was it a week oh my god i didn't even realize it was that long um yeah clean out your refrigerator damn go home <laughs> right right uh so yeah so she was there for like a week and uh she invited him to the golden angeles game which apparently it's very hard to get tickets to the game uh asher was super excited about it but he uh, ended up having to go to this thing that Patience was having for Coop, which it's always really funny to me when they like try to insert that Coop and Asher are friends because <laughs> they never hang out together. So it's just always really weird. When... So if you think about it, they're perfect together. They are. They're like the because they're like the two most selfish people. But still, it was just really odd to hear him be like, "Yeah, I gotta go." gotta go deal with my friend Coop she's in some trouble or whatever it was just like all right Asher calm down um so he ditched Jamie to go help with Coop then they had some conversation about prison names (laughs) whatever that was uh and somehow with all of that and with Asher witnessing what went down at the Baker house he decided to make Jamie his girlfriend and that's Asher (laughs) I mean, I think as far as I've been saying this for the past couple of weeks, but Asher has not been annoying me to the level that he has or was annoying me in previous seasons. What do y'all think? uh, That I agree with. Yeah, it just seems like he's doing his own thing on the side. Because he's not near Layla or Olivia, so there's really nothing for him to really annoy me. Right. Right. I just need him to stay away from those two people. Yeah, no, facts, facts. And when he stays away from those two people, like, we're good. We're chill. We're chill. What about you, Nai Nai? Or do you remember this part of the episode? I do. I just feel like, I don't even know. I Honestly, I was confused when Jamie and Asher were in a bed because I thought they were mad at each other. But, okay. Um, And then, because Asher was like, I have to go help my friend. And then he went to, like, a party or whatever the hell that was so like you really could have brought her i was really confused about that too like why didn't he it, it 
Yeah, like I don't know. It's just we- really weird. I guess it because it's a a next step or whatever is what they were going for. But I don't know. It was a chill party. <laughs> there were some random people there that nobody has ever seen before. There were like some extras in the scene. <laughs> like, I don't know. It was just really weird. <laughs> no football extras. No, not even the football extras. Did you see the extras at Coop's like <gasps> jail yes, party I- thing? <laughs> Okay. We don't know you. <laughs> it's really weird. No, whose idea was it to throw a party before Coop was again? Like, that is so. Patience is. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> Patience's idea. So actually, let's get into let's get into like why Coop had the party in the first place. So Laura told Coop that look, your situation is bad. You got to plead no contest. Um, and so Coop was worried about like going to jail because Laura was just like, there's a very strong potential for jail. I, <laughs> I'm i trying not to get upset as I like break down the story. But anyway, so anyway, Coop, Coop was telling this to Patience as Patience got some really good news from Layla that she was going to be like, she had the opportunity to play in a festival. And it was just whole thing where Coop felt like Patience wasn't supporting her because she was play she was going to be playing in a music festival while Coop was potentially going to jail. And so Patience was just let me like let me put on this party. And then the party didn't go as planned. It ended horribly for various reasons. Uh, and one of them being that everything boiled over. I just um, the whole thing with Patience and Coop was really just crazy to me because it was anticlimactic kind of yeah it just got went on too long like why are they still together at this point it had been dragged out for the longest you know what i am glad about though i'm glad that patience stood up for laura <laughs> oh when my God. coop's ungrateful coop is so annoying <laughs> like yeah, like she's doing this for free. She's a top lawyer in the country. Like, I, whatever. She, she was the DA, so she has to be the top. Laura lawyer. has bills to pay. Like, she doesn't have, like, she has an actual job. And she's letting you stay in her house. Oh, I don't. <laughs> in her house. I bet you you're not paying rent. You're not paying She's rent. not paying rent. It's so for Coop to fix her mouth. I don't care, drive ever experiences in my life like i just am not understanding how she was she was acting that way towards laura who has done so much for her over two seasons like it's not even just this season but it's over the course of no not even two no it's over the course of three four seasons now yeah coop if you think about it coop is the most well-connected character in this entire right. show right she gets scenes with everybody She's- Right. And she literally just asked Laura to take on the preach situation case. And I'm sure she did that for free. So like, Coop talking out of pocket, talking about some, I should have gone with a different lawyer is, I really wish, I really wish Laura would have dropped her. (laughs) You wish who would have dropped who? Laura. Laura would have dropped Coop. Go to jail. Laura's not going to do that. (laughs) I know she's not, but my petty heart wanted her to. I bet Coop wouldn't say that to her face. If she did, oh my gosh. Oh, absolutely not. She would never, but... How are you going to trash somebody in their own house? That <laughs> Just... makes no sense to me. I believe Coop is an idiot, and she has the right <laughs> to talk to patients like that. Like, yeah. come on now. Yeah. Oh, and so, uh, yeah, speaking about it, Coop and Patience finally, it boiled over, and they hashed it out in front of Layla and Asher uh, about, like, about the past two years of their relationship. What did you think of that fight? Like, I know you said, uh, Haley, I think you said it was anticlimactic. What made it anticlimactic? I feel like we've been watching, they've been dating for four seasons. And you've seen Patience, like, hold her tongue over these past 
four seasons and you've seen Coop disrespect her. So I felt like we would have, we should have gotten a bigger, like, Patience should have read her to filth. Like, she should have dragged her. Facts. In fact, I Facts. didn't that kind The of way that argument went down, it's just like, girl, Coop was doing the most. I wanted to slap her. I always want to slap her. <laughs> no, and for me, I think, it, like, absolutely she was doing the most, and it was... This for me was like a callback to season two when Coop, like, when Coop hid the JP thing. Like, how are you not even going to be happy for your girlfriend to play at a music festival? Like, you're that selfish of a character that you can't even congratulate her, but you're just like, what about me? I'm about to go to jail. Yes, for a lie you caused. Like that's what I'm saying. Patience like, could have gone to jail. Every single event that has happened to Coop is just cause and effect. Cause that you've done. Like no Facts. one can do any of this. Everything is just full circle. Like, come on, girl. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, it's just like it's so ugh, she just annoys me so much. I like it, yeah, and the fact that I I do think that patience should have said more, and I also when they like defi- officially decided to like whatever stay broken up at the end when they said you know I'm not mad that we broke up and they had that whole conversation, I was really mad that Coop was the one to say that first. <laughs> yeah, was I the only one? Like what? What is going on? Is are people checking for Coop? I, just, I, I don't know. Like, what? Haley, you have no right to be so hilarious. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's you're, true though. You're like, to drop out with bad lungs. Like, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo. It's just like, and we're going to get to this with predictions, but. She better be the one that's leaving the house. I, speaking of, why, and why was Patience the one to leave? Exactly. Patience. I know. You, no. you, Coop should have left. Patience needs to, I hope Patience is with her mother or something. Like, I hope that's why she, she wanted to go see her family. Hopefully. But, if, like, here's my problem. Again, I have so many problems with Coop, but here's one of them is after because even though we're talking about like coop like it's cause and effect for coop it seems like coop evades the consequence of consequences of her actions so much she out here talking out the side of her mouth about laura gets to stay in a mansion rent free gets a lawyer free patience is the one that leaves instead of her for the night or whatever and she gets this pep talk from spencer and pep talk from laura and it's just like are you insane? Gets a pep talk from Asher too. What? Was it cuckoo? Yeah, exactly. Like what? I just this girl. Mm, this girl. That's all I gotta say. This girl. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I just like I don't. It just bothers me. Uh, I need but a new a new storyline or leave. I'm so sick of Coop. Like, it's yeah. crazy. No, same. Same. Or go to therapy. Yeah, she needs to go to therapy, too. She does. It's very needed. Very needed. Uh, but speaking about all of the support that Coop got, um, <laughs> the uh, the conversation that Patience and Layla had mm. uh because Patience invited Clay to the congratulations Coop might be in jail party. Uh, yeah, Layla wasn't happy about it and, and went off on, on Patience and was just like, didn't ask you, check for your own relationship, uh, this and that and that and this, and you gonna know my feelings about this today. Why did you invite him? Right? 
Um, so, uh, patients invited him. He and Layla had a conversation. Layla was basically like, I don't want you, Clay. <laughs> I do not want you. I thought we already had a conversation about this. Uh, I don't care if you think that I have walls, whatever, we're over, we're done. What did y'all think about that? What did y'all think about her going off on patients? I L L. And- because patience patience heart is in the right place Mm -hmm. she had no right to do that because especially because she knows that layla like layla has stated i don't like him now layla shouldn't have came at her like she did yeah but but patience overstepped yeah i feel like with the later thing i'm on Layla's side i'm not gonna lie because I feel like if you invite my secret hookup to my house, I swear to God, I'm killing you. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, no, do not. I where she lives You said, I'm going to slap you like Will Smith slapped Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to find the humor in that situation, so I'm going to be making jokes about it for the next week. Yo. The amount of white people's opinion that I had to hear at school today made me want to jump but um, but yeah, I just feel like you're not going to invite, like, especially if like no one else really knows about it, but my my close friends. And as we know, there are a bunch of nobodies at the party. Some randoms, yeah, the randoms at the party. Like, what are you like? What are you doing? And you could have like asked me first, especially if I told you multiple times that this is a situation ship, and I don't want to take this any further. Like, don't go out the way to try and push anybody into a relationship. Just, like, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on Layla. What's funny is I feel like they keep... This is what I thought when I saw it. I was like, they keep having Layla react in these, like, what someone call, like, out-of-pocket ways. Um, Which, like, shouldn't have yelled at her, shouldn't have had the tone, shouldn't have done this and that. And, like, I do think she could have came at her differently. Uh, but it's for really understandable things, like people being in her business. <laughs> she doesn't mm-hmm. want people to be in her business. Like to that point, I think patients did overstep. And here's a point that I was actually glad that got brought brought back around is that patients said something about like, I just want you to be happy. And that's a line that we've heard from several characters towards other characters in this series, just all of the time. Like, I just want you to be happy. I just want you to be happy. And it's always about a relationship. Uh, And it's just like, they're not in high school anymore. Like, you don't need to push a relationship on me in order for me to be happy if I'm telling you that I don't want this thing or that this thing is just, you know, that we're just hooking up or whatever like that. Uh, So... I wish Layla had come at it from a different angle, but I could think that she was right in saying that Patience overstepped uh, and that Patience did need to focus on her own relationship because Patience has been in this relationship wanting to break up with this girl for the longest time ever. And I'm sorry. I would never in my I I love Patience so much. I would never take relationship advice from Patience. Never. Ever. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you're dating Coop. You're dating Coop, the most selfish kid. Yeah. I'm sorry. Coop beats Asher. Coop beats Asher in terms of selfishness. I know that's crazy, but just seeing even what she said in tonight's episode about I should have gone with a different lawyer, that really, oh, that girl. You, can't you, stand afford, you have no money. That I cannot stand her. So, yeah. So that was that. Um, so yeah, again, Layla wasn't happy about that. So she told Clay what the deal was. And he mentioned her walls um, and that they were so big. What did y'all think about his reaction to her being like, I don't want this? Clay has, she has told Clay several times, I don't like you. Like, just in a night. I don't want you, man. <laughs> And I don't understand why it's hard for him and some of the audience to comprehend that she just, he can be so nice and he can want to be with her, but she doesn't have to want to be with him. Fat. Okay. That is true. Can we have a conversation about that? Because. Just because someone's nice doesn't mean you have to date them. 
I keep seeing so many people saying, you know, again, Clay is so nice. Uh, Layla better stop doing this before he doesn't want her anymore. Uh, And like things like that. And it's like, she doesn't want him. She's like, she's made this very clear over and over and over again. And I don't understand why to that point, just because he seems nice from what we've seen that people want this for her if this is not something that she wants for herself. Also, hold up. He legit, he wanted to work with her, but then he wanted to date her as well. You shouldn't have wanted you... What did you think was going to happen? Why Why were you trying to be sleazy and sleep with her when, when you went at her at prom saying, oh, we would make great music together? Like, what the heck? Oh, that's true, too. That is very weird to me. And I still don't like that he, like, mess with her masters. I'm, <laughs> I'm still on that conversation. If you, you, you won't work with her? If she doesn't want to date you, you won't work, work with her? Right, right. That's oh, crazy. I finished I finished the last track on Patience's album. I thought, is it, like, is he working with Sabina? So I don't even know what he's talking about, but, yeah. But he got no artist. Like, there, I swear to God, and there's, like, people who are villainizing Layla just because she does not want to date this guy. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I don't understand the issue. If she does not want to date somebody that is interested in you, I don't understand that thought process. But, you know, whatever. She doesn't have to be with him. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. There's nothing wrong with her either. Like, maybe she just wants to be. She just doesn't want this man. (laughs) In his braids. I'm kidding. Truly, if there is ever something that I was like I wish that they would I just wish that they would let him wear his hair out and like semi push back (laughs) and honestly I don't blame her for not liking him because let's be real what what what's so great about him we don't know him all we know is that they have sex literally (laughs) and people are like yeah they're just like Layla and Clay forever like he's been on the show since season one (laughs) he's been on for two episodes y'all what we don't know anything about we don't know what he could do. We don't know like and it's understandable also like everything, like her not wanting people to be in her business. Cause as we know, Carrie was in that girl's business. Like, we know that. And it, it so it makes sense that she doesn't want people to be in her business anymore. Like that makes sense. Then we're like Carrie did not happen that long ago. No. Exactly. It's has just like been, right. has it been a year. Like, no, it's like, been like six months, something like that. Let's be real here. Let's be real. But <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's crazy. So she told him that she didn't want anything. He told her she has walls. Do 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 do. She calls her little postmates delivery man, otherwise known as Jordan, uh, who was going through his own his own stuff, right? Like he was trying to connect with the football team. Um, and and we'll talk about that, but it just like Isaiah and Spencer weren't trying to connect in the same way he was. And so anyway, she called him to deliver her, her (laughs) waffles. I'm sorry. I laughed at that waffle scene. Um, so anyway, yeah, she called him and he actually told her too, that she has walls and that this was a conversation that he he had with her in like three oh uh, four oh six, where he said like you have walls with everybody, and he told her that again, and she was just like, "Well, I don't have walls with you," and he said, "Yeah, that's because I don't let you have those walls with me." Um, and so they had a conversation, and they gave each other advice. And yeah, what were y'all? What were y'all's thoughts on that? It's interesting how she's not defensive with Jordan. He also comes to her in a different way. With Clay, he caught her off guard by showing up to the Baker house. So she was already on one. So I don't think she was trying to hear anything anything that he was saying because he made her feel like her privacy was invaded. And Mm. Jordan 
she asked him to come see her. So that just opened a door for her to be more receiving. Just naturally. And that's her, her friend and she, she trusts him. Oh, one thing that I did think was interesting is like to bring up that conversation in 406, she was very guarded and very defensive when Jordan mentioned uh, her sleeping with Asher. Um, and this time when he mentioned her sleeping with Clay, she wasn't as defensive. But I think, Haley, you brought up a good point where it's just like she, you know, she asked him over and it was like sort of on her, her, uh, Turns out, at least she, like, she was aware of it, right? She was aware that this conversation yeah. was ha- going to happen. Um, and it wasn't like people were coming at her with thoughts on her life without her inviting those thoughts. So that's a fair That's a fair point. She doesn't like being caught off guard. Yeah, she does not. Yeah. She that's does not. why she went off on Jordan at the, at the cabin. That right. caught her off guard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really good. I understand it. Jordan's right. Like he, they people act like Layla and Jordan met like two months ago. Like no, they've been friends even longer than Simone and Jordan have known each other. Like they've been friends their whole life, and so him being there for her isn't constantly isn't out of the blue. Him not letting her put up her Chinese wall or wall or whatever is perfectly fine because it's like it makes sense. Like they've known each other since probably. I don't know, but they've known each other for a long time, and at least like third grade or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's a long and time. she would probably go to Liv too, but we know Liv is doing her own thing right now, and Jordan is useless and has no storyline. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like that's a fair point because even back to the whole patience thing, right? Like, it's um. In a way, she just has not had this sort of lifelong connection like she does with Jordan. Um, so yeah, 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 that's good points. That's good points. And they're friends. They're friends. Just met, like they've always known each other. Just because they don't talk every day, or that we've seen them talk a lot throughout the four seasons, doesn't mean that they don't have a bond. You can have right. with people and not talk to them all the time. Facts. Facts. Especially with people that you've grown up with and it's like yeah. you fall into a pattern of, you know, whenever you do talk. For sure. For sure. Well, that was, it was a um, cute little moment in the studio and she definitely was, came at him differently. So we'll see where that goes. Jordala is rising. <laughs> Jordala is rising. <laughs> we are. They are. We are here, baby. They See now you you, you should have got me on that point because now I'm just like she was so hilarious with that little I just oh my, you got me my waffles five star review like what are you doing get out of here girl no loved it though she's loved so real it. waffles late at night is like the best thing ever facts facts and he noted that she was hangry he could pick that up from a text his mm. radar I guess is still accurate it was it was last week um. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was that was Layla and Patience and Coop and Asher. Uh, and, you know, Asher decided to move forward in that his relationship, Jamie was his girl, uh, became his girlfriend. Um, which, you know, she did say that, like, she's not always this way when she has to deal with her lupus, that she, she might be different and that he has to accept all parts of her. But he decided to move forward. Layla completely cut it off with Clay and the patients and Coop decided to break up. Finally, we, we think we're thankful. We're thankful. Um, but Spencer and Olivia, I love that they've been doing these like parallel storylines with them. Uh, I do feel like I expected Olivia's storyline to be a little bit more involved if that makes sense. Like it was just like, we were introduced to Noah, the photographer. Um, it seems like they get the same or go to the same coffee shop or whatever. And we thought that he was going to maybe steal her story, but it actually turns out that he didn't really steal her story. He did give her the credit for it. Um, and yeah, now she's invited to the, senior leadership team meetings or whatever. So what did you think of Olivia's overall storyline? I thought that we would see, I did think that we would see more of it. Like just 
her daily struggles of being, you know, Olivia didn't work in high school. She didn't, you know, she never had to, to juggle a job, a school, like job, school, a boyfriend, friendships. So I thought you would see more of that. But that Noah, is that his name? Mm-hmm. Never trusted him the second I saw him. Do you trust him now? No. <laughs> not, e- not even after you found out that he did, she did get the credit? Nope. Don't trust. No, 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 no. It's a lawsuit. Let's be real here. A lawsuit? Wait, can that happen? Like, if you, like, <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, can you edit that out? Wait. Wait. <laughs> wait, no, but now I want to hear you explain this lawsuit. What do you mean by lawsuit? Okay, like, okay. So, originally, she thought that he took the work that she's written. Right, right. Plagiarize, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plagiarize, yeah. But that's like illegal, and she has a decent mother that would be a lawyer, and she's a decent lawyer. So it's like, get your money, you know? Like, can that can't that work? It could, it could, but I think it was like I don't know if he wrote the article. Did it? I think it was like her boss wrote the article. He just, uh. It was like he was taking credit for her research, but then it turned out that he didn't take credit for her research. Oh, well, yeah. But, like, if he did. But if he did, get Laura on it, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can, she can sue him. She can sue him. Exactly. See? You were right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so funny. But do you think he's suspicious still? Everybody thinks he's suspicious. Um, Nat? Wait, Noah? I think he's... <laughs> I don't know what's going on with him. You don't even know this man's name. No, uh... Yeah, Noah. It's Noah, right? Yes. Noah is... Um, I don't know. He... Well, I don't... I'm not... I don't like the coming out appearances, but he's very short. And if they were going in this direction where, you know, my brain would love it to go, I would say that they're doing my sister wrong. With all these short men. Maybe, maybe it's her type. And you know what? I'm going to stick beside her. But it's like at the same time. Come on, sister. Get up. You can't be bending your neck all the time. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> no. These are facts. These are facts. So anyway. But it does seem like he's into her. So it looks like this is going to be something later on. Yeah. 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 Um. But so anyway, that was that was uh, Olivia's storyline, and we get did, we did get that cute moment with Spencer and Olivia in the bathroom. Uh, and they they did start like he was spending the night, right? Or yeah, I think they like switch off in my head. This is what's happening in my head. I have no confirmation, but in my head, they switch off between like whose like house they spend the night at. Yeah, yeah. Am I imagining the fact that they had a second scene? No, they was did. it just the bathroom scene? They had what two did they? Scenes. What else? They had two. What was the first scene? scene? In the oh, bathroom. right, right, right. Because it was the bathroom in the morning when they were brushing their teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They were talking I about their that. That was gone. Right. I I had no idea we we're going to see that that bathroom again. I know. Same. Um. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were, like, brushing their teeth in the morning, getting ready for the day. And then they had the one at night uh, after Spencer's game and after her day where they talked again and they decided, like, we're going to keep going. Um, And I did love that. Here's two things I loved. One was that the handshake, the little uh, kiss hand thing. Pinky kiss. Yeah, the pinky kiss came back. And their... uh, I think they have like a real like a like a Spolivia song like a uh, instrumental that they play in the background. Oh, I shout out Kaya! Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out Kaya because she brought that to my attention. But yeah, it was playing in the bathroom scene, and it, it really was nice because I think that they're making like the writers are making efforts to, you know, show that solid in their relationship. Yeah, that they're super solid. That like 
they they Mm -hmm. you know spend time together they're basically and for everybody who wants them to move in together i feel like they're basically moved in already you know what i mean yeah Yeah, and that's what i'm saying is like they already spend so much time so i think that they can still say like separate physically because they end up like staying at each other's places anyway they need their right i also love that we're seeing olivia's room like, I would have lost my mind if they have Olivia move in to that um, beach house. And no, she's, no. like, her room is her sanctuary. Like, I don't, yeah. I'm very angry if we don't see that again. And, like, we've just had so many special moments. Like, not just between Spencer and Olivia, though those have been amazing, too. But also, like, between Olivia and Jordan. And, like, yeah, it's just, yeah, Olivia's room is, like, really a staple. Part of her, it's part of her character. Yeah. No, for sure. For sure, for sure. So I love that. And, yeah, seeing, um, seeing, why did I, was I the only one who thought there was going to be, like, a small little uh, callback to uh, when he walked yeah. in on her in the bathroom in season one. I was waiting. You have no idea. I'm like, okay, we're in the bathroom. Why don't we do a callback shower? Like, I didn't expect him to go in the shower or do anything like that, but I wanted a callback to it. I think callbacks are so cute and they're just so fun. Yeah. But yeah. Get it. Maybe next time. It was like, my babies are growing up. Yeah, it was giving. It was serving. Um... And that she like she walked in on him in the bathroom. Yeah, but yeah, it was really cute. It was really cute. Um, show us more pinky kisses because that's cute. We need those to are that. cute. We need to keep those in the episode. Um, and so anyway, so what they were discussing, Spencer was stressing about making the cut on the uh on the Death Star. So trying to play in his first game because their first game was coming up and. You know, he impressed on the scout team that week. And so the coach brought him up to third string. They were uh, basically blowing out their opponents. So the coach put him in and he did well for like five seconds. (laughs) And then he fumbled the ball. (laughs) Then he fumbled the ball. So he was stressed about that. He was uh, not really concerned about like bonding with the team earlier. I mentioned that Jordan was trying to bond with the team and, you know, the guys were trying to haze them and Spencer and Isaiah were like, nah, we're not about it. Isaiah was a little bit more for it, but then sort of pieced out. But Spencer was not about it from the beginning and he was just worried about impressing the coach. And so him fumbling just had a really big uh, impact on him. He had a conversation with Billy, which I'm going to jump around here because why <laughs> was I the only one? And I guess I know who I'm talking to, right? The anti-Jordan brigade. So <laughs> was I the only one, though, that questioned the fact that Billy had a whole entire conversation with Spencer about his game and Jordan was, like, right on the other side of the wall? <laughs> like, nothing, mm-hmm. nothing to Jordan at all. I saw a tweet that said um, that said that all Billy's gonna do is tell Jordan through text to cut his jersey, and that is so funny to me. Like, and it's true. I don't blame him, but like, still. <laughs> but okay, here's like here's what's frustrating to me. I feel like whenever they show Billy having good moments with Jordan, like. Olivia gone completely out of his mind. And so now that they've actually made efforts to show this uh, father daughter dynamic between Billy and Olivia, which is cute and fun, like funny and stuff, but it's now all of a sudden he doesn't get scenes with Jordan. Like, like I, that just bothers me. That's hilarious. I'm so sorry. It bothers yeah. me because I'm like, you have twins, bro. Yeah, just. But we all know that his favorite child, Spencer, is always going to be number one in his heart. Yeah. He needs to do live better. But I don't know why. Yeah. It was so odd seeing a scene with Olivia and Billy. Like, Yeah. Especially two weeks in a row. It was really weird. It's like, hmm. Maybe he's trying. And so many sex jokes, too. Oh, God. That was really odd. I know. Like, we get it move on yeah exactly spencer and olivia are having sex we know we know 
<laughs> um, telling him to snip it. That was that was funny. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, so that was that was that, and you know, Coach Boone just continued to encourage Spencer to like readjust his idea of like training. You know, a couple weeks ago we saw him sort of put down the weights, uh, get get into the film or more, and now instead of looking at film on his opponents, he had to look on film uh, for himself. And so that's sort of like where we, where we end it. Uh, you know, Coop's not going to jail. Spencer is going to continue to improve. Uh, Olivia is moving up in her career. So is Layla and Jordan is still Jordan. It's so funny because like, this was a Jordan, th- this was supposed to be a uh, story in which Jordan had a storyline, but it still didn't feel like, he had one. So that was weird. <laughs> I think that's kind of weird, but I don't mind it because I hate Jordan. <laughs> I, okay, I don't know what, like, why did he get strippers? Yeah, that was weird. He's testing me every week. Because, like, you have a, a girlfriend. You came to Atlanta. And you got mad because she slept on somebody, but you're over here catcalling people on the beach and having fun with strippers. That's true. So, did he order the strippers or did Wade order the strippers? I have no idea. Haley, the- But I'm going to let you attack Jordan. It's Jordan's fault. Yeah, just put on Jordan. Or it's all Jordan's him. fault. <laughs> he should have he should have not let the strippers into the beach house period he shouldn't have had the party in the first place <laughs> he shouldn't have had the party in the first place but what did y'all think of like spencer um spencer's first game how he approached that and, and all of that stuff okay the first game i really liked how it felt like a college game like they were i didn't look at the crowds like stare at the, the crowd. cgi people yeah, I do not want to see that. But um <laughs> oh my god. But it it still felt like college game rather than like no. No, it did. It did feel game. grander than like the high school yeah. scenes that they've shown. But it's also weird that it felt grander than grander than the All American thing, like the All American game. Like that's that, the All American game was such a letdown. Oh my god. True. It really was. Yeah, like nobody was there. It felt like a scrimmage. Yeah, it was really weird. It felt like a combine type deal. I don't know. The All American, here's what bugged me about the All American game. The All American game wasn't even giving me uh, the season one combine. Like, I don't know. It just, it just wasn't giving. <laughs> it just wasn't. Giving. It wasn't giving at all. I don't, I think I want to blame COVID so bad. Same. But, you know, I, I do think that the, um, the GAU game was giving a little bit more. Like I actually felt like, oh yeah, this is a stadium full of people and it's a big deal. Except for the one thing I didn't like, this is me nitpicking, but the coach running out of like running out with the players in the tunnel, I don't feel like that's realistic. I don't think that happens with coaches running out of a tunnel. Is that just me? I can't take the coach seriously. Yeah, like no, I don't know. I turned my head for two seconds and then I like turn it back and I just see him yelling like crazy. I think it was before the game, but I don't know what was wrong with him. I really don't. But yeah, but like why he was so angry and I don't know. It's just maybe we're so used to like the coaches having a personal relationship with the players or not like not even a personal relationship, but a closer relationship to the players. So this coach feels out of place, kind of. Right, it's hilarious. No, like watching him yell at the yeah. because it just felt so real. I've seen so many coaches yell at players like that. I just had to laugh because I loved it. Right, right. No, I think he's doing a good job. It's just like I, I just think it's weird that like it's we don't we don't really know much about him. Like I think. Even when he was like fighting for Isaiah, I loved that. But this time, it just he, he was so remu- removed, which makes sense because he's a college coach. So I maybe it's just a dynamic I got to get used to. Yeah, because college college coaches will can really just do whatever they want to do. Right. 
I love how chill the other one is, though. The black one, I forgot his name. But I love how chill he is. Boone. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sorry, Manda, but it does not look like Boone is getting how I feel like... At all. I don't, Bro, I don't think Boone is... He is any, not uh... getting with grace. Like, <laughs> it's not happening, Manda. Let's be real here. Well, it, it, it like, specifically, too, because, like... Billy is still uh, still maintaining a good, like, and we knew, right? But he's still maintaining that relationship with Spencer. And it's really like Boone comes in for, like, two scenes to help guide Spencer through college. But, like, that's it. Like, it's not really extending beyond that, at least so far. So I can't see them, like, getting getting him together with Grace. Especially since we have my boo, Limo. Carter! Love him. Yeah. Love him. Carter and Grace are great. I'm missing them. I haven't seen them since episode eight. I um, miss Carter. Oh, my, they, they were, were taking him away. Is he never coming back? Like, no, no, no. Him. I think he's coming back. I think he's coming back. Okay. I have faith. Okay. I have faith. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But those, that's our, those are our thoughts on the episode. Thanks for listening to Film Study and All-American Podcast. Stay tuned for our predictions.